started. LSU will put a foot to it for the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner goes down. This crowd bringing an ear-splitting welcome to their visitors. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Back to pass. It's Milrow. Throws to the tight end. He's got an open man. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now... Fires into traffic and intercepted. Looking for more room. A sweet return after the pick, and they'll have it at the 43. And on this opening drive, the offense trying to be aggressive, attacking deep down the field. But they're going to have to do a better job of taking advantage of those one-on-one -on -one matchups because that time the defense won. They were able to high point the football, creating the interception. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Man, this guy is so scary when he has the ball in his hands. He kind of reminds me, he's got a little bit of Leonard Fournette. He's got a little bit of Clyde edwards Lair, you know, just that shake and bake. When they get in the second level, DBs just don't seem to know how to tackle this guy. You don't want to submarine. He might hurtle over you, but, it, but if you don't go in with conviction, then he's got the speed to get outside and take it the distance. This dude just makes your heart stop every time he has the ball. Motion from the offense. Now they'll run it on the toss. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. From the gun, running back on the move. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Timeout, LSU. LSU lining up first and goal. After the run, 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 now to throw. Got it! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Clear. 
They'll try to pound their way in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, LSU! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Here comes that Alabama offense. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives. Makes the catch on the left. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Gets it to the back. They'll make the stop behind the line of scrimmage, and that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. They'll get this quarter going with a second down play. DBs lock up tight on the receivers. Grabbed in the middle. It's long. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Alabama quickly back to the line. High flying pass catchers and the Crimson Tide. That combination wasn't right at the top of your mind, say 30 years ago. No, it used to be run, run, more run. And you've seen over the years, they've opened it up the playbook and they've brought in dudes. They've had some guys that can fly. Receiver winning Heisman trophies, like so many game breakers on the outside that make big plays in this offense. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The tide with the first and ten. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. After the flag, it's first and five for the offense. Running back goes in motion. Wants to go up top. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. This one's complete. Touchdown, Bama! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's top. And he pops it up inside the 20. And the defense jumps on it. They get that turnover. The tied offense rolls onto the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop, Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Skips away from pressure. Finds his big tight end. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Offense calls the timeout. Big down coming. They want to talk it over. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. chance. Missed it. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. 
Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Fast motion from the offense. They go to the ground. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. And a big hit at the end, but it didn't stop him from getting the first down. The clock has stopped, and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. They've got a first and ten at the 34. Here we go. They'll run it to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. They've already moved the chains a couple of times on this drive, now first and 10 from their own 46. Grab behind the line, it's Daniels. Still running at the 40. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. New set of downs after that completion. Trying to find his man on first down. They'll run the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Got it behind the line. It's Lacey. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Pressure coming. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. Get that touchdown right before the half. Build the momentum and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. You'll call for the fair catch here. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. They'll throw it on first down. The pass is incomplete, and one second is left. Alabama pushing the tempo. Lost to fire on second down. He unleashes a... Fires it into a crowd, and it's picked off. Got some room to run. He's at the 30. Running inside the 20. And it's going to be a pick six. 
Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to So that's going to do it here in the first half. Stay tuned for the halftime break. They want to get the ball back right now, lining up for an onside kick to start the second half. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Well, they're trying to pounce on their opponent with the lead in the second half, trying to steal a possession, but give the return team credit. They may not have been set up perfectly for that onside kick, but they're Johnny on the spot, and now their offense is licking their chops, hoping to go down and score. And they can't get on top of it to down it, so that ball will come out to the 20. Here comes that Alabama offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Paul, well, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here Got a lot of running room. At the 20. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown. 21-14. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. You know, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly chewing up that much yardage. The defense is going to have to get something figured out. Wants to throw on first down. Pulls it in. It's Taylor. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one. Down. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Power football with the run. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Wide out in motion. On the option. Oh, and he can't hold the pitch, and the ball's loose. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. Those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. Wide receiver now comes in motion. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The accuracy is perfect, the loft, the aim, like the perfect golf shot. rolls onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got... And it's picked off for the third time today. Didn't find much room on the return, but now they are in business and poised to strike from the 25. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man and 
across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. He's got it again. He's stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. A strike downfield. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. So now with first and goal, let's see what LSU does here. They'll try to get it in with the run. Not a lot going on there. Picked up a couple. Taking it in the end zone here. Unlocked. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Sneak wedging himself into the line. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. This defense trying to stand tall on fourth and goal from the two. Quarterback duplicitous in his dealing. Some would even say sneaky. Oh, the offensive first. Absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. Here comes that Alabama offense. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, open runway ahead. The 50. He's at the 40. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And once he found daylight, it was Katie Bar the door, baby. Do I run the ball here? Am I a little conservative? I don't want to get a safety. What? Absolutely not. I'm going to play pitch and catch, and my guy's better than yours. Outruns everybody. The length of the field, 99 yards for the big touchdown reception. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Hunting on first down, but why? Coverage team does a good job and touches it dead. No return on this one. A uh, nice job. A little hang time, getting it up in the air. It's coming inside the 10. That thing goes inside the five-yard line. That is exactly how you draw it up. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. He's brought down, but not before he turned that into a positive play and picked up a few on the run. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the 
two-minute warning. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. The clock stops. Two minutes left to play in this one. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Going for it on fourth down late in a tie game. This is a huge play. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. I love when defenses are smart. They knock it down. You get the ball anyways. Nice job by the defender. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the forward move. Stop for a short game. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves in a position to win. They'll go to the ground. And he runs it all the way down to the three-yard line before he's finally knocked down. These are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball in second and long? You stink, OC. Or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. to the ground to try to pick up the first. The Tigers are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Great job up front. Great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. comes with 28 seconds left. It's always three, two, one, horn, gun, ball game, and they got it done. And that is heartbreaking for the defense as well, guys. They needed one stop, one big stop at a critical juncture of the game, and I know for them moving forward, that's a play they're not going to... 